What's going on, guys? Gentlemen, back at you with another preview video for the Pittsburgh Steelers facing the Cincinnati Bungholes <laughs> at Heinz Field. Yeah, yeah, in Heinz Field, Week Seven. So, uh, I mean, you know, should be an interesting game. You know, Bengals usually give us a challenge. Well, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I yeah. mean, they 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 did last year, but I mean, they lost. We swept them last year. Uh, uh -huh. This is our first game against the Bengals this year, uh, basically part one. So, uh, I mean, it's in Heinz Field after a big win last week. I expect the Steelers to come out attacking. Yep. Maybe better. Maybe better. But, uh, I mean, the Bengals, they're what, 2-3? They, they're 2-3 and three right now. They're third place in the AFC North right now. Yeah, and they won their last two games. Uh, and Not to take anything away from the Bengals, uh, you know, they they face the Browns, which is I mean it's always a given. It's basically a bye week. Yeah, and uh, and the Bills. Now, what's well, are a good team, but yeah, usually they're, they're, usually the the Bengals usually beat the Bills mostly all the time. Yeah, they and, usually uh, kind of own them. Right, and uh, I mean you know, but you gotta think they're facing a, a much better team in the Steelers, especially at Heinz Field, exactly at their house. So it's gonna be a tough game for them and for honestly for both teams because what I, what I've seen and some guys may disagree, the Bengals kind of bring us a challenge. Sometimes, but but their team this year it just doesn't seem that way in my opinion. Right. I mean their offense, you know, ever since firing uh, Zach Sampezi and uh, hiring Bill Lazor, you know, their offense has a uh, has definitely gotten a lot better. Yeah, they they performed better. They, they scored a freaking touchdown. Yeah, because didn't they, didn't they uh, not score a touchdown for the first uh, two games, two, three weeks? Yeah, I two games. I th was it two? Two two games. Yeah, but um. Against the Ravens and the Texans, and they finally scored a touchdown against Green Bay. Yeah, yeah, but um, ever since firing him, you know, they and, and hired uh, Bill Lazor, the offense has performed a lot better. It has, gotta admit. And uh, AJ Green has definitely played uh, played a lot better. He's he's the only he's the only player I'm worried about in this game. Yeah, you know, AJ Green's a monster. I mean, AJ Green is definitely one of the best receivers in the NFL. Yeah, you know, like. I kind of feel bad for him because he's with Cincinnati and he's got a quarterback like Andy Dalton, who sometimes is good, but. Here and there, yeah. he doesn't show up a lot. Right. And, uh, I mean, you know, like I said, he's the only guy I'm worried about because they, they have Brandon LaFell, who is just, I mean, he couldn't do good with Brady. What's, what, how's he going to do good with uh, Andy Dalton? He's awful. They got Tyler Boyd, but is he, 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 yeah, didn't he uh, get arrested for some sort of, uh, didn't, didn't he have, like, uh, like, drugs in the car? Yeah, or something like that. I don't know if he was framed or if he actually had drugs. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if he's playing, but they have Tyler Boyd. They have John Ross, who isn't healthy yet. They yeah. don't have Tyler Eifert for the rest of the season. He's on IR, so they yeah, got uh, got to trust Tyler Croft. And other news, uh, water is wet, so. Right. It's kind of, kind of, you know. Nothing so for the Bengals offense, you know, they got some, you know, good targets, but besides their best targets, well, one of their best targets in Tyler Eifert. Like yeah. They're not going to have him for the rest of the season. Right. And that's going to suck for him. And also, I think he's going to hit free agency next year. Also, also it would not also surprise me. I could see him going to the Lions because Eric Ebron, you know, he's been a bust. They're not going to keep Darren Lefe or Darren Fells. So, uh, I think he's going to go to uh, Detroit next year. I think that's a good it, target for Matthew Stafford. If he stays healthy, of course. True. But, uh, plus, that would reunite him with uh, Marvin Jones. Right. Who played for the Bengals was a real good number two for him. Exactly. And ever since, you know, ever since they got... Because after that 2015 season when they went 12-4. And went to the playoffs, obviously, they, they lost they, to the Steelers. Yeah. And, uh, they, they lost very, a lot of players like uh, Marvin Jones, uh, 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 Muhammad Sanu, uh, Reggie Nelson. Yeah, the best, of, perhaps their best defensive player yeah, at the time. And, uh, you know, the, that's just name few. Plus, they lost a lot of players on their offensive line. Like Andrew Whitworth, he went to the Rams. Uh, what's his name? Uh, that guard. I can't remember his name. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name either. Is it? Uh, no, they still have him. I, I, I can't remember his name. Uh... I I'll, I'll put his name in in in, in, uh, in the description box, but I can, I cannot forget remember his name. But uh, but this Bengals the, offense, like I think Andy Dalton's gonna have some trouble with our yeah. pass rush because yeah. he does ha he has no protection whatsoever. Yeah, you know he like, has no tackles. The only, the only good player I think is their right guard, but he hasn't performed well this season. Exactly. So. Like, like 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 I said, they have some good targets, but not their second best target, in Tyler Eifert. Like they have oh, they it's they just, have some running backs. It seems like that they're there, well, first of all, uh, the only player that showed up for him is uh, A.J. Green. That's basically it. Brandon LaFell hasn't done anything. Tyler Boyd hasn't done anything. John Ross, their first-round pick, hasn't done anything. He's been injured most of the season. Yeah. which uh, honestly, His first carry was a fumble. Yeah, that's his first touch of a football. So, not really, I mean, if he plays, I'm not really worried about him. And he, they're running. Yeah, he has great speed, but uh, what's that done for him yet? Exactly. It's done nothing but cause him injuries. Exactly. Because a human, a human is not meant to run that fast. Exactly. 
Exactly. Yeah. But and their running game, you know, like, they have some running backs. and uh, Yeah, they have uh, Jamie Hill, Giovanni Bernard, and honestly, who I think is a major sleeper on this Bengals team. Yeah, uh, yeah. Joe, Joe Max, Maxon. What the hell? Joe Mixon. Yeah, Joe Mixon. But uh, I say Max, it's Mixon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, Joe Mixon, like he he's a he's a phenomenal player. He's really good. Yeah, and with, but the thing is, with all those running backs, I if, if, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're 28th in rushing offense. I believe so. Like, like they're doing a running back rotation, but I don't think one of them has yet to get 100 rushing yards this season. Yeah, I believe you're correct. And I be, correct me if I'm wrong. I th- I think Jeremy Hill was actually the starting running back at the beginning of the season. He hasn't really done anything all season. Right. Giovanni Giov- so, uh, so, Bernard is more of a receiving back, and Joe Mixon has actually progressed well. Yeah. So, so the running game is decent, but it's not great. So honestly, I, I'm not really worried about the running game at all. No. I think our run defense, you know, after a big performance last week, uh, limiting uh, Kareem Hunt to only 21 yards, I'm sure they're going to continue. Uh, I think that, you know, their uh, upgrading for their run defense is going to continue. Yeah. You know. And with this Bengals offense going up against the Steelers defense, that has done very well so far. Uh, this whole season, like, I think the Bengals' offense could have some trouble. Yeah. Especially yeah. at Heinz Field. Like, the pass, def- pass defense is freaking tremendous. Rush defense is actually upgrading a bit. Pass rush is doing pass what they got to do. Pass rush is doing do. real good, I yeah. think they should pass rush a lot more, but they're doing what they got to do. But they're, they're applying pressure, which is still pretty good. So, I think the Bengals' offense could have some trouble against this fierce uh, Steelers defense. And, and especially the pass rush, because they have no offensive line. And, and I said it when they, when they lost some of their uh, key players on their offensive line. I think that their offensive line is going to kill them. And it kind of has. Yeah, and I expect our pass rush to. You know, of course, I want us to have a good game, but at least apply a lot of pressure, force mistakes. Yeah, you know, like Cam Hayward, Stephon Tua, Javon Hargrave, Bud Dupree, right? Uh, Anthony Chicklow, James Harrison, right? T.J. Watt, like all those uh, pass rushers, even Ryan Shazier and Vince Williams, if he does play, because he did suffer an injury against the Chiefs. But if he is not playing, it leaves Tyler Madikavich some playing time. Yeah, and I think this is a perfect uh, opportunity for Tyler Madikavich to prove himself because I'm still very confident, and I still say that he he was a seventh round steal. I mean, he's got the potential. He's got the talent. I'm very, I'm very big on Matt Cavage, and I think this is the perfect opportunity for him to show himself. Yeah. You know, prove himself. But yeah, show what he's got. You know. Yeah, but but yeah, the front seven, like I expect them to apply a lot of pressure and try to cause Andy Dolan to make some mistakes. Right. And I expect that too. I expect this defense to have a good game because honestly, the the Bengals offense. I mean, like we said, you know, ever since uh, hiring Bill Lazor, they've done better. But I mean, they haven't really gone up. They haven't gone up against really fierce defenses yet. Right. Right. Besides the Bills, but that really wasn't a, a challenge. Right. So, I mean, they're going up against the... Uh, now, believe it or not, the Bengals and Steelers are number one and two uh, in the pa- in the in the pass defense. Now, the Bengals, kind of you know, that, that's kind of shocking me. Right. So, uh, you know, honestly, the... I, I think that kind of tells us, you know, of course, you know, Ben usually does good against the Bengals. Yeah. But I think that tells us to run the ball with Belmore, especially after the game he had last week oh, against, exactly. against the Chiefs. They have to continue which, the running game. Which is, by the way, an away game. Especially coming at home against a divisional rival, definitely want to run with Bell more. Absolutely, and Bell's always had good games against the Bengals. So yeah, expect you know Bell's going to want to run a lot. The Steelers are going to want to give Bell the ball a lot. At least they should. Right. Because obviously he's a phenomenal running back. He's perhaps the best in the NFL right now. Like I think he's third in rushing yards. I believe so. Like he's even after a slow start. Like we sh- we need to continue with this running game because it, it will help us win games. It will, it will help us get down the field. He really helped us last week. Exactly. So just continue it in this game. So uh, I expect this offense to have a good game. You know, I, I, I'm still confident that this offense is upgrading. It's bouncing back. It's start. You know, last week I think that last week was the start of our offense getting hot. Our offense just started getting hot. So I think it's going to continue against the Bengals. Even their defense, you know, it's not too bad. You know, they their defense backs, uh, Sean Williams, uh, their other safety, George Iloka, Adam Jones, Pac-Man Jones, that freaking douchebag, that jag off. Yeah, and uh, uh, Drake Kirk Patrick. One, one interesting thing, uh, one interesting, one interesting thing about this game is uh, Fontez Barford. We all know the history he has with the Steelers. He injured the three Bs all in one season. Yep. So um, it's gonna be interesting, and I hope Bell uh, runs his ass down. And I think so. he will. Freaking hope so. Now, I'm not denying Vontez Burfitt. Burfitt's a good player. He's, he's I'm a not very denying good player, that. but he's a dirty-ass player. Yeah, very dirty player. Now, I'll, I'll give him credit. He has slimmed down, yes. But he hasn't stopped. No. No, not all whatsoever. Yeah. Talented yeah. player, but dirty-ass shit. Yeah. So, it's going to be interesting to see how that, you know, how that turns out. That's going to be a fun showdown. Bell right. and uh, Burfitt. Also, Brown Burfitt, of course. Yeah. So... And our offense, and, our and, and speaking of our receivers, you know, continue to spread the ball around. 
You know, exactly. we kind of did that last week. It kind of worked out for us. You know, uh, AB had a hell of a game, especially that touchdown catch. Yeah. Which is still unbelievable. I don't know how we caught that, but. Uh, I know, right? And it's just a great play by Brown, you know, just never giving up on the play. To see great, what, to see great, what the ball's going to be and yeah. just grabs it with one yeah, hand. Yeah, great concentration, dude. Just, just, just tremendous. tremendous. That's most, why he's the best receiver in the NFL. Right. Most, receiver, most receivers would just quit on the play or just, you know, not catch it. Brown never gave up and concentrated the ball, you know, perfectly. Exactly. It made a great play, a much-needed play. Exactly. So, you know, I mean. I can see Ben, you know, throwing the ball a good a good amount of times, you know, spreading the ball around to, obviously, A.B. I'm hoping Martavis Bryant does have a big game. Honestly, you know, he, he has history with the Bengals, you know. A 94-yard touchdown catch. That touchdown catch against the uh, the uh, the uh, the Bengals in the in the wild card game. Yeah, in the playoffs, so which he, was a he, hell of a grab he, right he, there. He usually does good against the Bengals. So I kind of expect uh, Martavis Bryant to actually have a good game here. Or at least I hope. Even with all the trade rumors that were going on, you, you got to bet Martavis Bryant is still going to, you know, because he's in his tweet. He's happy to be a Steeler and he wants to try to help his team with win, win number seven. Right. And you got to bet he's going to want he's going to want to upgrade. He's going to want to uh, uh, show up. You know, exactly. especially against the division rival. Exactly, especially at home too. Exactly. So, uh, and uh, you know, I just hope this offense has a great game. Honestly, just continue to run the ball and spread the ball around. Tell you what, the offensive line's got to protect protect. Ben, yeah, though, because, because I gotta admit, the Bengals' pass rush is pretty good. Because they have uh, Carl Lawson, who is uh, you know, he's really shocked me. Yeah, uh, he had G- he had three sacks against Green Bay on yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, so he's gonna be going up against Villanueva most likely. Uh. Geno Atkins. Uh, Geno Atkins, a freaking monster. Carlos Dunlap. Who else they got? Uh, Jordan Willis. You know. You know another rookie. They got they got a real good uh, defensive line. They oh. got a real good pass rush. You gotta admit. Yeah. So this offensive line has to do a real good job here. And I did hear that Marcus Gilbert did get injured against the Chiefs. Yeah, I don't know. He, he, I don't know if it's serious or not. Hopefully it's not. I did hear it's a hamstring. But if he is not playing, I guess Chris Hubbard's going to get more playing Which time. Which I'm okay with, but, you know, he hasn't really done so well this, this year. No, no. Really? No. You know, he's, he's I mean, of, he's, he's made some handy blocks here and there, but nothing major. Nothing big. Yeah. That's mainly been in the run game, though. Right. I mean, he's done good in the pass block, you know. But he keeps, blocking, he keeps but allowing the, the person that he's blocking, you know, co- to cause pressure. Right. So I think, Sometimes he's got to stop. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope this offensive line, you know, just, you know, protects Ben because we're going to need it. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Foster's going to come back, too, because he was out uh, against the Chiefs. But, yeah. Uh, B.J. Finney did really good in his absence. B.J. B. Finney has always done good in uh, in absence for a Foster, so if, if he starts again, I'm very confident. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking B.J. Finney. So Possible I, I, replacement for Foster in the future. Potentially, yeah. I like Finney, dude, seriously. He's really progressing well, especially uh, under Mike Munchak. Oh, yeah. So, it's great, man. So, uh, you know, this offense, just you know, just keep running the ball, spread the ball around, and protect Ben. Yep, absolutely. Uh, because if you protect Ben, you know, Ben's going to make some smart decisions. Sure, he has in this season, but, you know, he's he's only going to get better this season. Yep. You know, this offense starting to get hot. We're starting to spread the ball around. This off- Bell's starting to play better. So Hopefully we can continue to that, do that, that against a divisional, that, a divisional rival. That's going to affect every player on the offense that's going to, you know, really energize them and, you know, you know, cause them to make bigger plays, you know? Right. So And this defense, you know, they got to apply pressure. they got to cover their guys, especially A.J. Green. You know, the defense got to do what they've been doing throughout all season. they yeah. got to do what they got to so, do. So, uh, and speaking of Andrew Green, uh, I, I don't know who's going to be covering him. It's either Joe Hayden or Burns. I, I'd put Burns on him, but either way, we got to contain him. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm fine with either one, really. And I think he's going to be on the left side, which means Mitchell's going to be on that side, and uh, I don't trust Mitchell whatsoever. No, just saying. I don't. But you know, uh, I mean, he missed an open freaking sack right there against Alex. Smith. Yeah, and then he got and in a the same play. He got a freaking rough in the pass. Yeah, seriously. Like, how do you allow that? You miss a sack that's right wide there. open. Sack, you're by you're the way. unblocked. You're right there. It's a wide open sack. You freaking miss him, and when he throws the ball, you rough him. You rough the passer. You rough Alex Smith. What? Yeah, the badly. Fuck? By the way, seriously, Mitchell sucks. Seriously, he hasn't done anything ever since we signed him. Nothing. He had that one good season against the Panthers. We signed him to a five year deal. Hasn't done nothing. Nothing. Besides that one year with three interceptions, but that was nothing. What did that do, though? Nothing. Nothing. Mitchell nothing. sucks. He can't tackle. He misses tackles. He sucks. Yeah, this this signing did not turn out. This might be one of the worst freedom signings um, uh, you know, Mike Tomlin and Kevin Cobb have ever done. If I were Honestly. to steal it, I'd give it, uh, J.J. Wilcox more uh, playing more time. time. See, yeah. see if he can develop and possibly a good safety Especially form. since he's younger. He has more veteran experience, more starting experience. And uh, honestly, I think he's a better safety. At least he can tackle. I mean, sure, he misses tackles, but not as, not Plus, as he, much as He's quick to the ball and the player, in my opinion. Right. Plus, he's faster, you know, so. I, I prefer Wilcox over Mitchell any day. I, I'm sure they're going to see that. I mean, hopefully. but Hopefully. I, I don't know, man. But uh, keys to win this game, offense, spread the ball around, 
run the ball. We'll continue to run the ball and uh, protect Ben. Defense, you got to pass rush. You got to cover your guy. You got to cover your man and force mistakes. Exactly. So, uh, honestly, you know, I just, I just want to put this out there. I don't think it, this is a rivalry anymore. I mean, in my opinion, you know, it's it, it's not like it used to be. I think it would have been a rivalry if the Bengals had their key players like back then when they had yeah. their 12-4 season. But yeah. right now, it's like it's like they're like the Browns 2.0 in my opinion. Even though they've done better than the Browns, obviously. Right. But, obviously, won a game. I mean, yeah. No, I'll give them credit for that. <laughs> But I mean, I mean the obviously, I mean the Bengals have some key players, but like I, I feel like this this is kind of like the Browns rivalry. It's not a rivalry. I mean, not like it used to. I mean, I mean it very well could. You know, they could surprise me this Sunday, but I mean a rivalry is really. a rivalry, but but this rivalry is not really a major rivalry like it was back then. Yeah, I think it's still the Steelers and Ravens is the best rivalry in the North. Oh yeah, because there was debate about is it, is the Steelers and Bengals the best rivalry in the North right now? I, uh, well. No matter I who, no matter who, the, no no matter who the Bengals got on their team, it's always going to be Steelers. Now, Bengals. honestly, after you know the Ravens, you know I expect a lot more from them uh, in week. What was it, week four? Week four. So uh, you know, you know, it's a possibility we could sweep them, but I'm not sure. You know, Ravens always give us a tough challenge, except for week four. So right, the Bengals could give us a much closer challenge, much closer game. I can see us being a close game. However, I don't think it should be. I mean the Bengals. Oh, yeah. have, I mean the Bengals had some rest time. They just had a bye week. Yeah. But uh, you know that's a positive for them. But after after a big victory against the Chiefs, they're gonna come in hot, yeah. especially at home, exactly. as I expect. Yep. And another thing I want to talk about is get into the end zone. Exactly, like get into the end zone. You have all these good drives and and, and the play calling. Seriously, get into it's the gotta end be zone. Todd Haley. He's our offensive coordinator. It's gotta be Todd Haley. Work on getting in the end zone. Seriously, exactly. If I mean, wanna, if, Bell, you wanna, Bell if you want to if you want to win games, if you want to be a, a dynamic offense, you have to get into the freaking end zone. Obviously. You're going down the drive. You're going down the field very, very well, but you cannot get into the end zone, and you're allowing Chris Boswell to kick the field goal. Get into the end zone, score touchdowns, freaking get six we, points, not three points, six points. Yeah, we we just gotta work on that, man. Seriously, we really do. I helped out working on that in practice, but uh, I freaking hope so. I don't know, man. Uh, honestly, I don't see it. I don't. I don't see. I don't. I don't see how we lose this game. I don't see us losing this game, honestly. So, not 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 to be a homer, not to be you know. Uh, What's the term? Uh, uh, what's the term? It's another term for a uh, for a homer. It's a uh, bias. Yeah, there it not, is. Not 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 to be biased, but you know, it's just uh, I don't see how we lose this game. I don't. I mean, I I think it could be a tough challenge, but I don't really see us losing this game yeah. whatsoever. I don't know, man. But uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. And uh, honestly, this very well could be a close game. It could. I, I don't Poss think. I don't think. Possibly. It I don't think it should be, but knowing the Steelers, it very well could be. Right. They always make it that way. I don't know why. That that's why I say get into the end zone. We should we we should honestly we should defeat the Chiefs by a lot more last week. That's if, how, if that's, how me, that's how I feel. If you ask me, that's how so. we feel. So uh, hopefully they upgrade that in this game, especially against the divisional rival, especially at home, and especially after a big victory against the undefeated Chiefs last week. Exactly. So uh, let's just let's just get uh hopefully we uh hopefully 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 what the hell hopefully uh we ret hopefully we return home with a dub, man. So uh. Mm -hmm. Let's get ready for this game, man. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy the game. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace!